wash on me, please? I didn't want to make one of those videos where I shoot it in the daylight and I'm fake doing things. So I'm just going to show you what I actually do in the evenings. Let's get to it, shall we? Welcome to the Breakfast Criminal's evening routine. A good morning begins the night before and your evening rituals and those last waking moments have a huge effect on your subconscious. What kind of dreams you see and the mood that you wake up in. So the first thing that I do in the evening to start winding down and prepare for a good night of rest is I turn off my computer, I make myself stop working. When you do something that you love, it can be really hard to just pause. With that, I also say goodbye to my phone until the next day and I live it in the living room or in my office and I don't see it until the next day until I'm done with my morning routine. I find it to be super important to not spend the last waking moments in front of a screen or especially phone because one, it's associated with things to do and with work and with responding to messages. Also, the lights that the screens emit they affect your sleep, both mentally and physically. It's extremely essential to put your phone away as far as possible, put in a drawer if you want, at least one hour to two hours before sleep. Once my phone is put away, I go into the kitchen and I make the apple cider vinegar elixir, which is one teaspoon of raw honey, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, hot water, and a squeeze of lemon. And there's something about that magical potion that just puts you in a sleepy mood and helps you start winding down the day. On nights when I don't make the apple cider vinegar, I make a turmeric latte. I love the brandless golden milk powder. I've been drinking turmeric lattes for years and sometimes I drink it in the morning with my coffee or in place of coffee or as an afternoon pick-me-up. In the evening, if I'm really looking for a nourishing frothy latte made with golden milk is my go-to. What I love about this golden milk is that it's unsweetened. So I usually skip sweetener altogether or add a little bit of manuka honey or any other high quality honey to make it even more delicious. Turmeric has a ton of benefits. It's been used in India for thousands of years. It's known to be anti-inflammatory, it calms down your system. The interesting fact about turmeric that you might not know, which already is part of the brandless golden milk powder, because it makes turmeric about 2,000 times more absorbent, which is crazy. Also, turmeric has to be consumed with a fat so that it becomes more absorbable to your body. So you can just drop a teaspoon or a tablespoon of coconut oil into your golden latte to really make it more absorbable and also more frothy. I usually use oat milk, hemp milk, almond milk, or coconut milk. To make my latte and I just put my powder and the milk in the blender and I blend it and voila while I drink my latte I usually journal read or yes I know I told you it's optimal not to be in front of a screen at night but sometimes I watch an episode of my favorite YouTube show that's called living big in a tiny house that's all about living a minimal functional lifestyle once I'm done with my drink I head to the bathroom take off my makeup I wash my face. You can see the Himalayan salt lamp. When you dim the lights around your apartment, it starts signaling your body to start getting ready for sleep. So if you have any super bright bulbs in your apartment, then switch them or just get Himalayan salt lamps and candles everywhere. And I either take a bath with essential oils and Epsom salt or I take a shower with eucalyptus oil. And I love the brandless eucalyptus oil. I just put a few drops right in the shower and then so when the water starts coming down you get a eucalyptus steam, which is just so relaxing. It makes you feel like you're in a forest. Once I'm done with that, I put on my body oil, I head to the bedroom, I drop some essential oils into a diffuser for the night. I usually like foresty smells. I get my eye mask ready, my earplugs ready, I close the blinds. If I really feel like my system could use help in calming down, I use a machine called the Chi Swing. I learned about it from a shiatsu master in LA. So the machine basically, you lay like this with your arms above your head, you lay on the floor, 
you put your feet in the machine and it shakes you from side to side. By doing that, you're opening up different meridians and channels in your body and the cycle is about 15 to 20 minutes. By the end of it, I feel so good. Your whole body's just buzzing. Oftentimes you should fall asleep. If you weren't ready for sleep after the cheese swing, you're ready. And it also helps metabolism and so many other things. Definitely check it out, it's life changing. When I'm not doing cheese swing, I use a neck hammock. So it's just a little like a neck swing that's attached to a door. Just make sure that no one's gonna come into the room while you're laying there. And I just lay there for about 10 minutes. It's like a shavasana where your muscles get completely relaxed and all the strain that was in your shoulders, in your neck, it just melts away and you feel so much more relaxed. After that, I crawl into bed. I fall asleep. Sometimes I also take out my journal. I write three things I'm grateful for that day. Then with a grateful heart, I go to bed. And I really believe that those last thoughts, those last intentions of the day, they can have an enormous impact on how you wake up. So be conscious of how you spend those last waking moments. I would love to hear about your evening routines, what questions you have, and what spoke to you in my evening routine. If you haven't seen my morning routine, check that out. I have a couple of options. I have the normal option, I have the travel option, and I also have routines of other awesome people that share great tips. Thank you Brandless for sponsoring this video. Brandless has a wellness line of products, including the golden milk. I love it, it's so good. There's also a matcha, but that's part of my morning routine. I'm not gonna get you excited with caffeine now. Disclaimer, try not to get turmeric. Oh on your clothes or on oh, the couch shit. yep that happened it's extra yellow <laughs> <laughs>